The tasks in this event keep changing by the minute. Let's get into it. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizard Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. Before we get into the changes, I wanted to talk about my morning session where I finished up the previous event and then moved into the current event, the Back to Hogwarts event. It is Monday. One thing I will say about finishing up the last event and some of my comments about the last event, uh, number one, the um, Sirius, the brilliant Sirius poster, the Wanna poster, that thing definitely departed and was too hard to catch it, for an event foundable. It, and not being one that normally complains about this, if you've watched my videos, I don't complain often about things departing, but when it's brilliant foundables that are for the event, and at times, and even this morning, um, I on one that I didn't need, so it didn't bother me as much, but if I needed them, it definitely would have irked me a little more, is masterful, resist, masterful, resist, masterful, depart. So for an event foundable to do that, I think is a bit much. I shouldn't have to use potions for it, especially when they're requiring you to get a bunch of them. No event foundable should be like that. They should not be based off their regular version. Brilliance should just be an easy one to get because everybody needs to get them, should be more accessible to newer players. If it was other foundables that are emergency level, that kind of thing, I'm perfectly fine with them being difficult. Maybe you have to use potions, or if you don't, you just risk that that happens. But again, one of my pet peeves, I've talked about it in some previous videos, but I'd mentioned that it happened a lot with that particular thing. And on Discord, I saw people mention that that particular one was departing from them. Of course, the Dementor you just had to defeat, so it can't really depart, which was nice. In addition, the right at the end, just trying to get more Boggart foundables. That was the thing that was sticking at the end. I had everything else done easy. And I left myself about two and a half hours to just get, I think I needed 13 more. So to get 13 more of those, it took me two and a half hours. I had tonic for trace detection running. It just kept giving me brilliance. It would not give me the ridiculous spell ones. And I had to move around a lot. If I was staying in one spot, I would have never done it. Um, I was walking around at Waverly Place this morning. I didn't bring my camera with me. It was super hot. Um, the heat index was up around 100. And I knew my camera would overheat potentially. My phone actually starts to slow down when it gets hot and just it is can be difficult to film when it's that hot out so i really just wanted to have some fun with that session and move into the next one as i moved into the next event today's event back to hogwarts i did notice a couple things and then on discord i noticed a couple things one thing i did notice is i had a tonic for trace detection running and as i started the event um the tonic for trace detection continued to produce brilliance but no Boggarts, um, no Boggart foundables being guarded by Boggarts at least. Brilliance for the previous event, which of course did me no good. And I had about 20 minutes left. So over 20 minutes at the beginning of the event, it was even eating up my spawns. So I wasn't seeing as many headwigs and that kind of thing. So just interesting to note, if you're ever about to start an event, the tonic for trace detection determines what it will spawn for the next however many minutes, 30 minutes for me, based on when you start it. So if you start it, before an event begins, it's just gonna produce like regular spawns if that's what was happening before. In this case, it was two events back to back. So it was still producing what it was, what the boosted foundables were for the previous event. But moving into this event, um, didn't have too much trouble with Hedwig. I saw a reason, reasonable number of Hedwigs. So that wasn't too much of an issue. 100% drop rate on the Hogwarts acceptance letters. Every time I got a Hedwig, I got that. And now let me show you where I am on special assignments. You can see the Master Notes on four, four potions. I started that earlier today. That was the last thing I just finished. Honestly, just a second ago, I put a new potion in. I also just put a port key in, and we're gonna talk about that in a second. But I did get the 12 Hedwigs, and and the Hogwarts letters, um, the 15 great spell casts, that wasn't an issue while I was getting the Hedwigs. I was, of course, getting other things and ended up getting the great spell cast. And then the 7,000 wizarding XP, I was actually on a Barufios, but even if I wasn't, I would have gotten all that. So let's go ahead and collect this and let's move on to the next step. So in my guide, I've already went over this, so we're not going over this again, except we are going to point out the second task. It says collect one platform nine and three quarter signs from port keys. Now that did switch. I talked about it in my guide. It was four at first. They switched it to one. Well, another thing happened. And, and I actually noticed I wasn't seeing any port keys. I saw no port keys because the port key is supposed to look like this. You remember you saw this in my guide. It's supposed to be this color. Well, I wasn't seeing any and I knew I didn't have any port keys. I was completely empty. I was ready to fill up if I needed to, but at least just to get one of them and get that platform nine and three quarter sign. But then I, when I wasn't seeing them, I finally, of course, went to Discord, saw if anybody else was having this issue. It was an issue. Um, Lola on um, HBWU, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, Lola on Discord, 
did confirm that regular port, they're not there. You just need to pick up a regular port key, any port key, and if you walk it, when you open it, you'll get whatever you were gonna get, and you get a bonus fragment of the platform nine and three quarters sign, and it will complete this task. So if you're on the second set of tasks or you haven't gotten there yet, when you get there and you're looking for that event port key, that's what happens. They're not here, they're not that color, they're saving them for something later, that color port key at least. All you need is a regular port key and you will get an additional fragment, which means if you need platform nine and three quarters signs, um, go ahead and load up on them and, and open them. Now, my guess, and I'm not sure about this, is you'll need to open them during the event and that's when it would trigger it, but it's possible if you pick them up during the event and start walking them, even if the event ends, they may, you may still get the bonus fragments. I will probably test that out at the end of this event, um, but you only need to walk one. That's really the main change you need to know going into this, and that it can be a normal one. You don't have to keep hunting down those event port keys that are a different color, because they don't exist. Another big change in task three, you originally had to do 20 great Expecto Patronum casts. So not only did you need to get 20 great casts, it had to be that specific spell, which means you needed to find those specific foundables, which would have been difficult. And it's, I'll talk about the difficulty in finding certain foundables in a second, but they have changed that all the way down to two masterful spells, but they can be against anything. It doesn't have to be a particular spell. So as long as you can get two masterfuls on anything, so if you've struggled with masterfuls on certain casts, but you're really good on it on other casts, when you do get that one thing, just get a couple masterfuls and you will meet that. And so you can see right here, it's changed. This is a screenshot I got from Discord that somebody put up. It has changed. And instead of the 20 great expected Patronums, now you just need to do two masterful casts. Again, they didn't tell us specifically why that change occurred, but I would, I would argue that's probably easier, even though it's masterful, you can kind of pick the spell you're good at. And when you do find that one, go ahead and get that done instead of having to wait to get 20 greats when I'm sure you could do the greats. It's the Expecto Patronum trying to find those Dementors. Which brings me to my last point about this event. It's not something that's changed, but it's more of a strategy that as I played today, I realized is gonna be an issue, which is if I would go ahead and start doing this early, start to work on these tasks early and start to make your way through. Because there are so many boosted foundables, when it is time for you to find a certain foundable to check something off, like I needed Hedwig for that first task. And Hedwig, is a common, it's a low threat or medium threat. So you're just gonna see more of them. I And I did see more of them, which makes it kind of easy to fill out. But some of the later ones ask you to find people and get fragments, Fred and George Weasley, which I did see some of them today. And, but I, of course I wasn't getting credit for getting the Chalk of Frogs because I wasn't on that task yet. And when I am on that task, it's gonna be harder to, to just get those guys because I saw, I think, two today during my whole play. I saw one Fred and one George and that was it. And that would be two Chalk of Frogs if it's 100%. When I get to the Hogwarts students, you need to get, I think it's six of each if memory serves. I'll put it up here if I'm wrong. But anyway, you need to get a number of each of them. Today, I think I saw two Hogwarts students. I saw a Gryffindor and a Slytherin. Now, was I actively looking for those Hogwarts students? No, but I really wasn't seeing a lot of nine and three quarters foundables anyway. So even with a tonic for chase detection, there's so many things it can produce. And in the wild, even though the spawns are boosted, there's so many things it can be that when you need to get a specific foundable, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna take you longer than normally for these types of tasks, I believe. So anyway, I just wanted to put this quick video out, kind of to catch you up where I was, but it was more definitely based on the fact that I'm seeing the port key problem. I wanted to make sure you knew you didn't need that event port key and that all you have to do is get a regular one. And then just so you know that the two masterfuls in that third step had changed, although when you got there, you would have figured it out, obviously. But most of all, it's for you to maybe start hitting it this a little harder earlier. So you have more time to get the quill and the book and all all the Hogwarts students because you're, you need those specific foundables. So I figure it's gonna take longer to get all that done. And since it's only a five day event, we definitely wanna bust that out a little bit quicker. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Knox.